if you or someone is interested in applying for the Global Korean Scholarship, then please watch this video to the end. Hello, my name is Toyiba and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to give you a brief introduction to the Global Korean Scholarship, the benefits, the requirements, and how you can prepare for the next Global Korean Scholarship graduate degree application. So what is the Global Korean Scholarship? It's a very popular scholarship organized by the Ministry of Education of South Korea, and it is designed for international students to have opportunity to study at higher educational institutions in South Korea to pursue their academic degrees, and it will enhance this international education exchange and deepen mutual friendship between Korea and its participating countries. The degree programs that are available through the Global Korean Scholarship is the undergraduate degree, the master's degree, the doctoral degree, and research programs. Today, we are going to be talking about the graduate degrees. So that includes master's degree. And under the Global Korean Scholarship, you can take the master's degree in three years. With the first year, you will spend at the Language Institute and the two years, the remaining two years will be spent at the uh, institution that was selected for your uh, master's degree. For a doctoral degree, that will be four years, with one year of Korean language program and three years of the degree program. For research, it's usually in a stretch of six months or one year. What are the benefits of the GKS scholarship? Number one, you get airfare, which is usually economic class flight ticket. You get settlement allowance when you arrive in South Korea. You get monthly allowance that we popularly refer to as stipend. You get Korean proficiency grants, which is usually paid at the beginning of each month for all scholars. Degree completion grant at the end of your program. You have free medical insurance paid for you by the Ministry of Education, language training fees, as well as your tuition. All of this, if you are able to be selected as a GKS scholar. Now, let's talk about the eligibility criteria. First of all, all applicants of the Global Korean Scholarship must hold a citizenship of any other country aside from South Korea. Regarding grades, the cumulative grade points of the entire curriculum from the previous degree program must meet at least one of the following conditions. The number one is that the score percentile should be 80% or above on a scale of 100 points and you must be ranked in the top 20 of your class. The second criteria for your grade is that you must have a CGPA that is equal or above 2.60 of 4.0, 2.80 of 4.3, 2.91 of 4.5, or 3.23 of 5.0. The age requirement is that you must be under 40 years of age. That is, you must be someone that was born after September 1st, 1983. Regarding research application, any academic professor in one of the official development assistant recipients who are under 45 years of age are eligible to apply. See the list of the ODA recipient countries. All applicants must be in good health both mentally and physically, to study in Korea for the full duration of the program. Yes, your health is very important. Please note that there is one restriction to your application. If you are a person who has graduated or is expected to graduate from a Korean high school, including international schools in Korea or a Korean university, is not eligible to apply. A person who has graduated from an online curriculum from a Korean high school or a Korean university cannot apply. A person who is currently in his or her final year at a Korean university cannot apply. A person who has previously received scholarship for a degree program from the Korean government is not eligible to apply. Final successful candidate of the GKS degree program from the past three years who has withdrawn from the program or was disqualified from the program prior to enrollment cannot apply. Now, I'm going to go ahead to list the documents that you are to submit in order to apply for the Global Korean Scholarship. 
The number one form is the application form. Number two, personal statements. Study plan. Research proposal. It is only applicable for research program applicants. One letter of recommendation is required for master's degree program, doctoral degree program, as well as the research program applicants. You need the GKS applicant agreement, personal medical assessment, consent to collect and use personal information, as well as other documents like your transcripts, your certificates, your master's certificate, your undergraduate certificate, if you are applying for doctoral program degree, and if you are applying for master's, you need to have your bachelor's certificate, bachelor's transcript, as well as other documents that you can see on the screen. In this year, 2024, 262 students worldwide will study in South Korea, and the scholarship has two application tracks. It is the embassy track and the university track. For the embassy track, 86 students will be selected all over the world. For the university track, 176 students will be selected all over the world. Make sure you are one of them. For the embassy track, you can select the application form from the website studyinkorea.go.kr and then you can submit it to the Korean embassy in Nigeria which are situated in Lagos and Abuja. The application process usually involves submitting the required documents and then you undergo interviews or examination conducted by the embassy or the consulate. All the successful applicants will then be recommended to the National Institute for International Education, which is the body for education in South Korea. The university track allows you to apply directly to the university of your choice. Then you have to submit the document to the university directly. I mean the hard copy of the document, the notarized hard copy of the document. After you have met the requirement of the university, then the university will recommend you to NIAED for onward processing. Now, how many years does it take to complete the GKL scholarship? For bachelor's degree program, it takes five to seven years. Why? Because you use first year for your Korean language training, and then you use four to six years for your degree program. For the master's degree, you use one year for your language training, and then you use two years for your degree program. And for PhD, aside from using one year for your language degree, you use three to four years for your PhD degree. Here is a very important Point to note, if you already obtain a topic result from your home country, you get an additional 10% point in the evaluation for the scholarship. Thank you for listening to my video. I hope you are able to learn one or two things. If you have further questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.